G'day, I'm Warwick Schiller and uh, you know, I get asked a lot, how do reiners get their horses heads down? And um, usually the people who are asking that question are fascinated by those horses having their heads down. Whereas really the horse having its head down, it, it's having its head down is just a, um, a reflection of what its body's doing. You know, if you get a dressage horse and uh, you finally turn loose, you know, they do everything right and you turn loose and go on the buckle, they will just stretch and hang their heads down. But you don't see dressage people riding around trying to make their horses heads go down and the big thing with those reining horses is you know good trainers don't try to make their heads go down good trainers do a series of exercises that get their bodies organized and that will cause their head to hang down but they're not trying to get the head down and uh, i've got some footage to show you here in a minute that i filmed oh, a couple of years ago with a young horse i was riding and he he was kind of a short necked kind of a little bit upright necked sort of a horse and um i'd been riding him for quite a while maybe six months or something rather than you know when you turn loose his neck would kind of stick up a bit and I got to the point where he was and you'll hear me say it in the in the audio of this this footage here it's old it's old footage it's a couple of years ago so the the quality won't be as good as the camera or the sound here but um when I had different equipment but uh you know when I turned loose of him he would kind of be you know he was soft when I picked up when I turned loose he kind of carried himself a bit like that and the video was about uh, it was when I first started changing leads on him, doing flying lead changes on him, and I was saying in this video that I just recently started working on the counter bend and the counter canter. So a counter bend would be if I was cantering around in a left circle on a left lead and I had his head bent to the right. Okay, a counter canter would be if I was cantering around in a left circle on a right lead and I had his head bent to either the left or the right, depending on which way you're counter canter. There's two ways to counter canter. You can counter canter with the with their um, nose to the outside pushing that hip out or you could counter canter with their nose to the inside which means your inside leg and they'll be bending around your inside leg but you could, you know so i've been working on this horse at both the counter bend and the counter canter and guess what a week later all of a sudden and you'll see it here in the footage uh by the time i start to turn loose his neck starts to whoo and it was just getting all that stuff broke loose he had some stiffness in his shoulders you know what i mean and getting that stuff all broke loose is when his neck started to hang down. So uh, take a look at this footage and it'll kind of exp and you'll see what his neck starts doing. But like you'll hear me say in the footage, I don't, I've never ridden him in draw reins or martingales or tried to, you know, tied his head down or anything like that. I've just tried to get that body broke loose. And when I finally got that body broke loose, that neck starts hanging down. So hope you enjoy it soon. So right here, he's loping around and his shoulders kind of hang into the outside a bit. So because we can now counter bend him, we've been doing that for a couple of weeks. So I'm just going to counter bend him this way. And then put his shoulder in, nose in, shoulder out, shoulder in, nose out. Just keep working on that. You've seen this horse all along in various videos. Like he's been in the teaching the side pass, teaching the back up. He's been in teaching, excuse me, teaching the spin, teaching the stop. Um, what else has he been in? Teaching the inside leg, teaching the counter canter, all that sort of stuff. And he's always, when he's, when he's been turned loose, he's always kind of loped around with his head stuck in the air. And what's happened here in the last two weeks, so I've been counter countering him for about two weeks now. And what started happening here in the last two weeks when I've, I'm well not just counter countering, but been able to counter bend him. Um, what's happening in the last two weeks, when I can lope around and bend his head from side to side like that, you really get those shoulders loosened up. And what is starting to happen is he's, gonna, he's starting to break loose in his whole body. And when I turn loose, he's starting to do that right there. Now you saw me loping around there. I wasn't trying to make his head go down at all. Okay, and a lot of people say, all oh, those Western horses, they just make their heads go down. Now if you get these horses really broke loose in their bodies and relaxed, their necks will start to do that. Like, like you saw me right there. I wasn't pulling his head down at all. I was bending it from side to side, getting his body loosened up. Put his nose on this side, put his nose on this side, put his shoulders over there, push his rib cage out of the way, just doing that sort of thing. So when I do this, when I bend his head to the right, my right leg goes further forward there. When I bend him to the left, my left leg goes further forward there. Bend him to the right, my right leg goes further forward. Anyway, so once you get all that happening, you turn loose and he's starting to do this. And that's a big myth a lot of people have about well-trained reining horses is oh they make their heads go down i've never ridden this horse in draw reins i've never tied his head down i don't use martingales of any sort all that sort of stuff 
and I don't go around and bang his head down but I do make sure it's soft enough for me to be able to just do my fingertips right here manipulate his body around but like I said when you get all that working then that there starts to happen like that anyway so now I'm going to counter canter 